Welcome back everyone. Today is trust setting day, so it's not a very good day as you can see. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Even the windshield on the Warrior is getting, getting I don't want to say glazed over, but it's getting fogged over with water. So I just wanted to show you what I do. So I do the setback of what I want the truss to be, which is will end up being three inches. Well, an inch and a half back on the post and an inch and a half outside. So, um, and on the gable ends, I am putting with U bolts. I am putting wood so that I have something to fasten the metal to on the gables when I get there. So I'll show that again. But this also stiffens the truss on bigger trusses. I haven't tried to lift these yet, so I don't know. On the 40 footers, like I did for the shop. Um, I needed to do this otherwise they wanted to fold in half um, I think these won't do that I'm hoping because I don't want to have to put one of these on every one of them but um, I'm getting it on the ones I can at least on each end so I don't have to mess with it so let's see what happens all right what I did was I picked it up and just put it in so it's inside so I don't have to carry it around so let's see
All right, well, I don't know how much of that I got on film. <laughs> because it's not raining, but it's misting enough that it's rain. So at least you can see what it looks like. But the, the other reason I like to do it that way, as you can see, that makes perfect for bracing. I'm still going to put a brace down to the ground once I make sure it's totally plumb. Because I didn't check it. But if you look at it, I don't know if you can see it, but it is, I will tell you, it is plumb. You can tell by looking at it. So, three more to go. <laughs> I'll set up the last truss when I get to it with that 2x6 going across it. And again, it's going to get another 2 by bolted up there i'll end up cutting the angle on that so i could fit a two by six all the way up but i don't i didn't pick up any long enough those have to be uh 14 footers um 12s aren't quite long enough so i don't want to piece it so i've got to get 14 so those will go in i'll do those with the basket after doesn't matter i'll get the roof done before i do that even um so I want to get the roof done before the concrete comes so that just in case we get something like this we don't have we don't have uh, water going on the on the slab while we're working on it so all right well hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna to go uh, I think now I think I'm going to uh, just go I got to do the 50-hour service on the Anmar so I think I'm gonna at least go change the oil I pulled that under the under the lean too so I could do that. So all right. Just my luck. Alright, so here's the maintenance kit that you can buy from Yanmar already. It's got everything in it. That was very good. So you got the uh, 1540 oil. You got eight quarts of that. Oil filter. You've got the um, uh, air filter and you've got the hydraulic filters as well. So today I'm just going to do the oil, um, and I actually started it already. Um, so just to show you, the oil filter is right there. The oil fill is here, and underneath you need a 14 millimeter uh, socket and a 19 millimeter wrench. So there's, a, there's this metal plate. You just undo, uh, just undo them like that and 19 millimeter right there and five. all right why'd you shut off on me um so a five gallon bucket is plenty and then easy. helpful hint pull the dipstick out of the way so that you can get the wrench on it and i don't know if you can see it but um, Yanmar engineered uh, a little cup that collects the oil when it drip when you loosen the oil filter so it doesn't drip on everything and it runs out the hose there's a little hose there and it drips right into your pan very good very good idea very good engineering all right today is Saturday the 4th and I finally <laughs> got a break in the action today is is nice it's cold the wind has died down, which is nice, but yesterday I was able to get um, get that truss up in between the rain and got a couple of the purlins across just to um, just to hold it in place. Those have to be changed because the only thing that the lumber yard had at the time when I picked up the 2x6s where they had 12s and each end requires a 14 because of the overhang. Um, you know, there's a one foot overhang on the side. So those are just in there temporarily. Well, the lower, the lower one, the rat run, that can that can stay, but the upper one will need to be changed. I got my diagonal brace on there; it's all plumb, so that is good to go. So two more to go, and as if it all stays calm like this, it shouldn't be too bad. I may have Miss Wonderful come out if I need it, but um, I've got the two of those uh, pretty much up without without her assistance so I'll see if I can do these as well all right so here is how it's rigged I've got the 16 foot uh, 2 by 6 that was one piece of uh, 2 by sheathing v-joint that I had left over from the memorial area roof so it works perfect this is just to stiffen this 
again I'm not sure I don't think these would these would bend because these are a little different construction than the and they're shorter than the bigger ones in the back but there's no sense to take a chance so that's just on with clamps those will come off rigged through those two right there so and I've got a stable as I stabilizing rope rope on the back I think I'm gonna have Wendy come out just to uh, make it easier and it is the intermittent breezes going on so I think I'm gonna do that so let's hold this rope like at first it would be fairly close obviously don't get any extreme range but I'm gonna pick it up I'm gonna go that way a little bit because obviously I gotta clear this and then I'm gonna back all the way up and then come in through I'm gonna come in through here so just have to make sure that the, you know that it goes this way because then I'll get in that way and then it'll just be together Okay, girl, what are you doing in there? It's not me. And don't swear because you're being recorded. What are you doing here?
dump your water, duckies? Hi, pretty birds. Hi, my duck. Five A's. Five A's. Quiet coat. Carrot coat, actually. Good sign when you don't hear anything hit metal. And just pound in the carriage bolt as much as you can so it sucks into the wood. Makes it easier when you tighten it up. No thread cleaning needed on this one. This one wasn't as wet, I guess. I just use a uh, plumbing brush to clean them. You can fit it in easier than you can a regular wire brush. That's basically it. Just tighten it up. Take that off and I'll plumb it. I'll show that after. I should have got it before, but that's the military plane circling the Chinese balloon spy, spy balloon. And it was even better. I'll put some pictures up of it. I took a few pictures as best I could, but they've been flying around circles and they got a reef tanker, a refueler. And they just keep on going. I don't know if, how well this is picking it up, but it'll, you'll, you won't be able to see the balloon now because of the sun, but I did get pictures of it, so I'll put it up. Unbelievable. Get a shot from this angle through the trusses you can see you can see the one coming around that's they just continuously circling for like a half an hour now David likes it the hawk and Wendy got a video of having a orb in there so military planes are currently circling the China balloon right now you can't see it well on my video zoom but it's above the tail end of the contrail of the planes but here they come around again i know david would like this but two more jets there they've already shut down myrtle beach airspace wilmington 
and Charleston and there's a uh, what is it, F-22 Raptor that's in the area I guess that's what's gonna shoot it down but I guess they'll be shooting it down a little excitement if we had a president we wouldn't have this stuff going on but what are you gonna do Seems to be more up. Yeah, it's like the sun is kind of blinding me. I'm doing is I'm crowning them and also they have a little bit of a bow to them from being in the stack so I am trying to put it in, in a way that gravity will straighten it out over time. easier to do this and then move over to do each side than it is to try to do it from one side and reach over. Well, with all the excitement of them shooting down the, uh, the Chinese balloon, it was literally right there is where they shot it down. I'll get some pictures. We didn't even have the cameras rolling we could have got video of it i mean we were watching it and we could hear the jets it was unbelievable it was loud um but anyway i forgot to put the camera on i had it set up over there as you can see it and i forgot to hit it but so here you go this is um i was able to get the trim on the both the gables and the the uh, horizontal call it a collar tie but it's really for siding um that post i'm going to put in after just because i need to do all the grading in there it'll be easier to do it without it so i just have to get this fastened but i just wanted to wanted to show it because i forgot um but that boom that boom works perfectly on this love it all right here's a little interim shot putting up the purlins so this is how I'm doing it, load them all up, because these don't have to be pre-cut. The middle ones had to be pre-cut to size, so I pre-cut all those. Put those in. The only thing that has to be pre-cut is the rat run. But uh, lift them all up, and then just move the basket, and I can get, I can get, that's how much I could get, even the front. So I can get pr pretty much half of it without moving. So works out nicely, and I'm just gonna get the rest of those move on to that end and and uh the good news is the metal the metal is in so i'm going to pick that up in the morning but i will not get to do it before before i go away well i might get to do it before i go away but i will not i will not be able to put a video up of it that's for sure so 
especially if I keep taking videos like this. <laughs> And one of the things that I'm going to do is between the rat run and the actual purlin, um, I'll sh take a shot of in the shop. They were in line, which I liked better. These are offset by an inch and a half. Um, but I, I put a V in the in the center of each one of those. So that way it gives every, every four foot on center support to not only the rat run, but to the to the uh, purlins, which are holding up the roof. Um, so I'm going to do that here, here, so there's two in each bay, um, and it makes a V like for Victory. I hate to say that because then Ryan from Victory Outdoor Services will, uh, will uh, sue me for using his thing, but I did that long before he even had a channel. Um, I did it for uh, Victory Motorcycles. It was kind of, uh, my son-in-law has one, um, and it was kind of a neat idea, but it, it's a functional idea. So I'll, I'll take a quick shot in the, um, in the shop and show you what I'm going to do there. All right, so hopefully you can see that. There's the V. So it's right in the center. It's on both of them. Now the light's going to make it not be able to see it. but So it's there. And the other thing I do, if you can see, is I take a, a one-foot block of 2 by 4 and I join the two purlins together so it's not just the the lag screw holding it together but it's actually nailed together that way as well so that will all go in um, i can do that even after the roof is on but i'm going to go pick that up in the morning like i said so just wanted to show you that because not too many i've never seen anybody else do that before um, but that makes a world of difference in my opinion and i've been doing this for 42 years all right just finished wanted to get this before it gets too dark so everything's on got my overhang those will get cut those will get cut exact snap a line cut them let's go back and see you can see so that's 24 by 36 10 foot doors like I said, I'll probably drop them to nine, but plenty of room. It's like a 12 foot, 12, 11 and a half foot wall height. Brought in all the, all the purlins that way with the skid steer, lifted them up, stood in the basket, only had to move it twice as you saw. Again, there'll be one more post in the middle, but I'm leaving that open because depending on if I have time or not, I think I should be able to have time before I leave to go get some material and um, grade that out level. Like it's got to come up about five inches on this side over here. So, but anyway, there it is. I think that David would like that. We were only going to make a two bay one for him, but. Might as well. Oh, there comes one of our stray cats. That's Misty. She's a crazy cat. So, for a whole nother story. Hi, Misty. Come on. Come on, Misty. She's like the bravest one out of all the... I don't know. I think I forget how many we have outside. Nine? Ten? They keep having them, but they're good cats. We feed them. They have heated beds and... Do what we can, try to catch the females and get them fixed so we don't keep having them, but it's not the easiest thing to do, but I like it. Picking up the metal tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick up the metal tomorrow. Um, so today is Monday. I want to get this, I'm going to get this video up today if I can, um, if it'll upload. I just want to get it up while it's relevant for the China balloon uh, craziness, but anyway. I'll be leaving. Wendy and I will be leaving on Thursday. Um, we're going to go about halfway, stop a little south of Savannah, and um, then we're going to meet up. Um, I know Chris is going. Um, he told me that uh, Mike from Dirt Perfect is going. Clint from CNC Machine is going. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else is going, but hopefully I come back with a machine or two. So I'll try. I don't know if I'm going to bring if I'm going to bring a computer or not. So. 
hopefully I can update you while we're there. If not, I'll get some footage up when we get back and then I'll finish this and uh, get back uh, digging. So again, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.